Hey guys, it's Zach with Aldec, and welcome to this Alien Pro tutorial. Today we're going to use features in Alien Pro to check Xilinx Vivado designs. Modern Xilinx designs are quite complex and often involve IP blocks. While Vivado can provide basic DRC methodologies and CDC checks, debugging the results can be difficult. Those checks also require full synthesis of the design, which could increase debugging time significantly as the number of synthesized and debug loops grow. Alien Pro would be particularly useful to prevent mistakes in early design stages, and the flow is much quicker as it would avoid low-level synthesis and optimization. For this example, we're going to take a look at a basic Vivado WaveGen template. We'll notice that this design has two IP blocks, which are FIFO and Clocking Wizard. To prepare the IP for Alien Pro, we'll need to use the Generate Output Products feature. Uh, we'll notice that the two synthesis options are global and out of context. Now, out of context is really the desired option here as it will generate each source separately and won't be touched unless it's regenerated, which aligns perfectly with the Alien Pro flow. The generated output products can be used in Alien Pro and it doesn't require full synthesis before linting. And once the IP output products are generated, you'll be able to move into Alien Pro. In the file browser, we can navigate to the directory that our Vivado project exists in, where we'll be able to import the Vivado project file with the .xpr extension. We can double-click the project, and the tool will open a Convert XPR Project Wizard. Notice where there's an option to overwrite existing files. If you will be importing this project a few times, selecting Overwrite Existing Files will cause all linting settings to be lost. Linting settings will be automatically kept for the same project through multiple imports, so only use this if you wish to erase your linting settings. Click Next and you will be able to view the resultant workspace structure after Import, and then click Finish. Importing the design will automatically parse, provide constraints, elaborate, and synthesize the IP in the design. Once the tool finishes importing the design, we are redirected to the Project Manager where we can examine the imported design structure. The main parts of the design can be found in this default design space. We have Xilinx design constraints, the imported IP files, and then the rest of the design files. We also have a directory IPOOC projects, which contains the relevant files used to generate all deck block level design constraints. We can see the FIFO IP had only a netlist, and the clock core had readable sources for Alint Pro to utilize for generating our constraints. In the main design, the Xilinx IP are represented using these stub files, which defines input and output, and the generated all deck block level design constraints file. If we open a constraints file that Alien Pro generated, we'll be able to find declarations of clock and reset pins and other relevant constraints. Now let's also take a look at the Verilog parse preferences for the design. We can see Alien Pro has automatically bound the necessary Xilinx primitive libraries. And, if we look into the linting category at our waivers, we can see that our IP stub files have been automatically added. Since industrial scale designs could include large numbers of IP blocks, the incremental and hierarchical benefit grows as the size of the design does. Using the Alien Pro import method also prevents the user from having to set up the project, which saves time from arranging the project and its settings, and resolving any errors encountered to set it up. So now let's go ahead and run the design. Once the tool has finished running, we get a project run success message in the console, along with a few details about warnings and violations. What we'd like to do is move into the Alent Pro schematic viewer to see how Alent Pro interprets and understands the project. We can see at first the, I the FIFO IP block, and if we move over we can see the clock core IP block which is inside the clock generator. Now if we explore a little bit further, we can see that the tool is able to properly understand the FPGA primitives and their pins, such as clock and reset, with no manual effort from the user to have the tool interpret these correctly from a CDC point of view. The models and rules understand the meaning of each primitive pin automatically. Now, linting and CDC do require different library models than simulation, however, and there is an important distinction to make concerning library handling between simulation tools and Alien Pro. Simulation targeted libraries are non-synthesizable and act as behavioral or timing models. Linting only utilizes the I.O. pin definitions and the body is replaced by a high-level model based on block-level constraints. You can learn more about these constraints files in the block-level design constraints tutorial video. 
But this is why you should not compile vendor libraries. Instead, reference pre-built Alent Pro vendor libraries. Alent Pro library versions match the latest versions available at the point of release, and IO pens are backward compatible between versions. Therefore, there is no reason to downgrade if using older versions of Avato. Now, there are some limitations with Alent Pro's ability to make use of the Xilinx design constraints files. And they are included in the resulting structure, however, they are disabled by default, as Xilinx has many non-portable constraints extensions. It is best practice to create a chip-level Aldec design constraint file and bring over the necessary XDC constraints, such as create clock, set input delay, set clock groups, set false path, and set case analysis. Many other XTC constraints are unnecessary for linting. And you can check out our tutorial video on chip level design constraints to learn how to create or automatically generate constraints. Now keep in mind this step would be for advanced or non-obvious cases when linting a design. Automatic detection of clocks, resets, and IO delays works fine in most simple cases. Well that's it for this tutorial on checking Xilinx Vivado designs in Alent Pro. Thanks for watching.